we have got a huge matchup coming up tomorrow in La Liga. Atletico Madrid versus Barcelona. Atletico Madrid midweek in the Champions League with a dramatic win, a dramatic comeback against 10-man AC Milan. It was absolutely incredible. Watching Luis Suarez smash that penalty home to secure the three points was, was incredible. It was, it was really something. And on the other hand, on the complete other side of the spectrum, Barcelona losing 3-0, getting a penalty scored against them in the second half to put Befica up 3-0. Three. 3-0. Three Barcelona. And then you have their manager, Ronald Koeman, smiling after the match, you just got absolutely embarrassed on worldwide television in front of the entire soccer world. As big of a brand that Barcelona is, the, the amount of pull that Barcelona as a brand has worldwide, to be getting embarrassed on the stage that is the Champions League, the stage that is the biggest in Europe, the biggest in world soccer, and it's it's really something something hard it's hard to watch watching barcelona a great european club get embarrassed like that and their manager smiling smiling Im imagine alex ferguson smiling after man united lose I, I that image i can't even comprehend that image in my head it's a madness. It's an absolute madness. First Barcelona lose Suarez last year. Now down they lose Messi. Griezmann's gone. They're trying to get their books, their, their financial books back stable. That, that's their goal. Not to go under. And in hand, they sort of forgotten that they're going to have to win football matches. They're going to have to put in performances, put in a good shift, put in a performance that really gets the, gets the Barcelona faithful, the Catalonian pride back into this club. And it's just something that you don't see from this team. They bring in Depay and Frankie Dion a couple years ago, and they have a lot of young talent like Pedri, but without solid leadership from Komen, how is this talent going to cultivate itself into, first of all, results, second of all, good performances, and they're all just this, this buzz around Barcelona that we're so used to feeling that now that it's gone, there's this, there's this hole missing in, in football fans around the world, like, we're missing a Barcelona, the, the pride, the, the style, the, the art that they used to put out every single match week, every single match day, it's, it's gone. And for Atletico Madrid, after winning La Liga last year and not getting off to a great start, but getting off to a solid start, they're looking to, to really show how bad Barcelona is tomorrow. It's, it's not going to be high scoring with Atletico Madrid and the style De Diego Simeone plays, the counterattacks, the compact line, the... the athletes and the athleticism he has allows him to do this but it could get out of hand considering Barcelona are not the strongest defensively and Atletico are lethal in attack with Suarez, Griezmann, Joao Felix, Carrasco, you have Marcus Llorente who can pretty much play any position on the field it's you look at that Atletico Madrid team and when they match up against Barcelona, you are scared for Barcelona as to the pure talent, passion, and overall style of Atletico. The, they have all these great individual qualities, but it's, it's pulled together by Diego Simeone. Some have criticized Simeone for his implementation of Joao Felix over the past couple of years or over the past year, but... He won La Liga. You, you cannot criticize this man I, um, for competing with Barcelona and Real Madrid, the big boys of Spanish soccer, for so long. You, you can't do anything but applaud Diego Simeone for creating such a established club. He stay, I would put it in a way as Diego Simeone has created an Atletico Madrid team 
that nobody wants to play. That's all you can do as a manager is create a team that nobody wants to play. And adding to the list of teams nobody wants to play in Spain, you've got Barcelona, Real Madrid, historically, and now you've got Atletico Madrid. Nobody wants to play Atletico Madrid because you know you're in for a battle, an absolute battle, end to end. They are going to run you dry and they are going to really give it to you. And if you turn up on match day, you knock a goal in, put in a good shift, it's not like they're going anywhere. Diego Simeone will, will run his men into the ground for 90 minutes to, eat, to prove to the other team that even if Atletico don't come away with a point or the three points or the result they want, it leaves this image in players' heads for the next time they play Atletico. And it's something that he's done a great job at that other teams don't really have this, this identity. Diego Simeone has done a great job of creating identity around Atletico Madrid. Um, but overall, I'm excited for tomorrow's game. It's going to be a good one. The, the late night game in Spain, kicking off at around 3 p.m. Eastern time here in the States. Um, getting into the predictions, I do think Atletico Madrid will come out on top. I, I'm pulling for Barca, pulling for a good game, in fact, but I would like to see Barca put in some good, good play, some good tactics, some, some passion, some fight. I just don't think that will happen. Um, I think Atletico will win 2-0. Uh, I don't see Barcelona scoring. I see Atletico scoring not early, but late, late in the game. Second half, beginning of second half, sort of middle of the second half. Uh, controlling the game throughout. They do a great job of that, but overall, excited to see what happens. See you guys tomorrow.